Fiends. Today I'm going to be doing a tag. The lovely Nikki of Knickknack1171 created a tag called the Spring Into Spring Beauty Tag and I want to do that today. I don't know if anybody else has done it but I was really excited to be tagged so thank you very much Nikki and I hope you enjoy my version of this tag. So there are nine questions in all, kind of eight really because the ninth one is actually kind of a get ready with me or some photos of your favourite spring looks. So I'm actually going to include a little get ready with me at the end of this video for the look that I'm wearing today which I consider to be very spring like for me. Um, pinks and purples and a nice pop of colour on the lips and the cheeks and some bronzer actually. So yeah I'm going to put a get ready with me at the end, it'd be very speeded up so but uh, you can check out what it looks like and I will put an info in the info, I can't talk today. <laughs> So the get ready with me will be speeded up. Um, I'll not make it too fast so you can see a little bit of kind of what I'm doing with the eyes. Um, but I will put some photos as well. And I also put some photos of some other spring looks that I've worn at the end. So if you want to stay tuned for that, you can. And I'm just going to tackle the first eight questions now. So, glasses at the ready. Am I in focus? Yes, I am. Right, number one. Now the weather is warming up, has your skincare routine changed? Um, I would have to say no, not really. Um, I don't know uh, if you watch me regularly or you are subscribed to me, thank you very much. Um, I have been currently using um, a skincare routine using the La Roche-Posay products. The lovely Nikki actually bought those products first and reviewed them and I saw that on her channel and I was so impressed that I went out and got them myself. And I've been super impressed with the results. I wouldn't say that my skincare routine massively changes in the summer because I still continue to use body butters, I use body oil sprays um, after I get out of the bath. Uh, I don't think I do anything different with my hair because although I've got like a sun protector spray from number seven which is in my current favourites which is the video before this, um, I actually use that all year round because even though the sun's not shining it doesn't mean there aren't rays that still affect your hair and um, yeah red's very prone to fade, it's the most fadeable colour so you've got to really look after it. So I use that all year round. I wouldn't say there's anything that I particularly pull out for spring. Um, I guess the only thing I could kind of say is I definitely use a water spray a lot more. This is La Roche-Posay Thermal Spring Water. This is not what I normally use. Um, I use the Evian Brumacetur. Actually, it's not much cheaper than this. Um, but yeah, that's what I use. I use that during the summer. I've always got one in my bag during the summer. And if it's hot, it just really cools you down quite nicely. And I get very hot feet. And if you get hot feet, you feel really hot. Oh, that's what I think anyway. So I often spray my feet with that as well. And it's just really nice cooling sensation. So if I am using um, a moisturiser on the night time, I just use it generally on the areas where I'm a little bit drier, which is generally up here to be fair. Um, and I don't use it all over my face as I normally would during the winter, but I don't actually massively change my skincare routine. I find that the things that I use work for me all year round, no matter what the weather is. And as long as they're working, then I continue to use them. And yeah, I don't make a change in the spring or summer because I don't want to mess with the balance of the skin. Um, particularly not now that I've found the La Roche-Posay, I'm just going to continue on that journey and continue using it no matter what the season. So no. <laughs> that was a really long-winded answer, wasn't it? So number two, when it comes to makeup, are you a trend follower or a trendsetter? So so I actually like to think I'm a bit of a trendsetter, although I don't think I set many trends. Does that make sense? So if you've checked out my current favourites video, you will see I've got quite a black smoky eye on, but I've got black lipstick on. And I have bought the apocalyptic lipstick, which is teal. So yeah, um... I wear out there things, I wear different things, I don't look the same as most other girls, I don't think. I don't tend to, I don't tend to play it safe, that's not saying most girls do, but um, yeah, I think that <laughs> I definitely go outside the bounds of safety, that's, let's say that. I do like to be different, I like to experiment, and yeah, so today is quite actually you know, quite a toned down look for me. I'm I'm not always out there. Most of the time I am this kind of toned down look, but I'm not afraid of trying out um, really outrageous lipsticks. Um, I wear a lot of purple lipsticks, whether that be bright or really dark. And I know that you don't tend to see a lot of people in very bright purple lips. And uh, yeah, so I definitely like to think I'm a bit of a trendsetter rather than the trend follower. <laughs> That said, I think we all like to get the new things that come out makeup wise. So when I see new things, I don't purchase everything that's out new, but when I see new things and I like them, then I will get them. But I don't see that as being a trend follower, that's just kind of keeping up to date with the new things that are coming out. Um, 
I don't actually just wear all new things all the time and think, oh right, well now that trend's over, I can't wear that makeup anymore. I tend to just kind of just wear what I feel that I want to wear on any given day. So every day my makeup is different, I don't wear the same look two days in a row and I get a lot of use out of all the things in my makeup collection. Like today, this eye look is actually with the MAC Palace Pedigreed Quad. I got this on eBay. I absolutely love this quad. I think it's really, really pretty. I find that when it comes to spring makeup, I like to strike a balance between the winter, autumn, winter colours and the berries with the spring colours with the pinks. So although I've got very pink cheeks and I've put some bronzer on and a very pinky lilac lip, I do like the sort of pinky lilac eyes and the berry colours still on the eyes, just not like all over the lid, just still some on the outer edge and the crease. So yes, that was another long winded answer. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Um, number three, do you wear spring colour or spring nude? Uh, most of the time spring colour to be fair. I like nudes, I like, like wearing nude lipstick and I'll often put on the Sin eyeshadow pencil from Urban Decay which is very nude on the eyes and just a little bit of liner. Um, so I will wear a spring nude but like I said I wear something different every day. I don't like to have the same colours on every day. Um, I've got quite a lot of MAC lipstick so I don't, if I was just wearing one every day it would just be ridiculous. I like to wear a different colour lipstick every day, I like to change up my eyes every day. I wear different blushes every day and different highlighters so I do change it up a lot but to be honest I think the things that I more reach for are the colours so I tend to have quite a colourful lip or a really colourful eye and yeah I definitely say I'm definitely more spring colour. Right number four show your five favourite spring makeup essentials. So this was quite difficult because I was like oh I can't really think of any and then it was just like oh that and that and that so it was quite difficult. So what I'm going to show you is, I would say a fix and spray for me. I use these all year round in fairness but that's more because I'm, I have an oily combination skin so this really helps with the oil. It just helps make my makeup look better. So this just helps keep my makeup on throughout the day and just it's just it's fantastic stuff. I always rave about this. I saw somebody say, oh, this is rubbish, Wayne Goss, I know a lot of people like him, I'm not a particular fan, but he said that this was rubbish, um, and you spray it in your face and it does absolutely nothing, I'm sorry, I beg to differ. Um, I have told this story before, I was out, there was a flood, I was in the backyard, bucket and water out so it wouldn't come into the house. I was out there in pouring torrential rain for 45 minutes, my eye makeup did not budge and it wasn't waterproof eye makeup. It still looked amazing and I totally attribute to this because this is the only thing that I'd done differently. And I'm terrible for eye rubbing and things and I think this definitely makes a difference. So I would say that a fix and spray, because when it's warmer or hot weather, you're a bit more prone to being a bit melty. <laughs> if that's a word. Um, the next thing for me, I have to say, is the MAC Strobe Lotion. Now, I use the lotion during the spring and summer just because that's my oily phase. My skin changes throughout the year, um, but I do have dry skin and I do have oily skin. So I use the lotion, which is more suitable for oily skin, um, and I mix that with my foundation just to have a bit of a glow. I really love glowy skin, and particularly in the spring and summer, there's just a glowy skin just looks so pretty. So I love mixing this with my foundation and getting that glowy finish. In the winter, I actually change to strobe cream, which is a lot thicker, and it's more suitable for dry dry skin so that's great it kind of nourishes my skin while I'm wearing makeup so yeah strobe lotion for the spring and summer um, and then I put an eye primer because although I wear eye primers all year round with warm weather I just think you have to work a little bit harder to make sure that that is going to stay on because just the heat and you know I just think there's more going against eye makeup in the spring and summer than it is in the autumn winter so I use this one this is dainty doll it looks really grubby. I really apologise. Let me just rub around the edges. It doesn't look quite so grubby. Embarrassing. <laughs> so this is, I think it's 001 Frankie Girl. Um, this is the third one I am onto. It's actually featured in my favourites. It's an amazing eye primer. And to be fair, I liken this to NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk because it really gives you a very pale finish just the same. Um, and I find when you blend out jumbo pencil from milk, that's the kind of finish you get. Except that this is a lot more creamy and moisturising. My eyeshadows don't budge and they don't crease with this on, so this is definitely a spring-summer essential. And then the next two things are from Benefit. And for me, I have to have a really good bronzer during the spring and summer because I am very pale. 
and a lot of bronzers do tend to have an orange tone to them and that does not suit us pale girls because we don't want to look like umpa lumpers. <laughs> I think if you've got a darker skin tone or a yellow undertone I think an orangey bronzer looks amazing so don't get me wrong I'm not calling orange bronzer or the people that wear it but when you are so pale and you put an orange bronzer on you just look orange because <laughs> it really seems to enhance it. With darker skin tones you can really wear it and it looks so beautiful so jealous so <laughs> it's very difficult for pale girls to find a great bronzer. So I actually use Hoola by Benefit and what I love about this is it is a matte sort of finish. Well what I'm saying is it's not like a super shiny finish. That's it there. Now I know it looks quite orangey on camera but trust me that is not orangey. It, it, it is a little orangey but that's what you get with bronzers because if they made it pure brown it would just not be good at all. <laughs> so but yeah this is amazing. It's a lovely matte consistency so there's no shine which is really good and I just use it around the temples. I always put some on the nose and um, the chin area where you would catch the sun and then on the jawline and of course in your contour area. So yeah during the summer I need spring summer I need really good bronze Bronzer that's not going to make me look really obviously orange and I really think that Hoola is the best one I've ever found. And then the last thing for me is Coralista from Benefit because oh, you can't beat a great coral brush. Brush? <laughs> you can't beat a really great coral blusher in the spring and summertime. There is nothing like that beautiful coral glow on the cheeks. I just absolutely love it and this smells so amazing. I've always got to sniff it. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what that one looks like. And uh, that's that there. That's it. It's just the perfect creamy coral blush. Absolutely love Coralista. So yeah, that's my other one. So that's five. I probably could have done more. In fact, I did pick up a perfume, which is also my favourites. This is Britney's Believe. I have to, because they're my five spring makeup essentials. I just wanted to mention a perfume. It's got really fresh, light fra fragrance to it. It just smells so clean and fresh. It's not seriously, it's not flowery, it's not musky, it's just fresh. I think that's a really nice scent for the spring and summertime. And of course, as I mentioned before, water sprays. Use them all year round, but definitely use them a lot more in the spring and summer. Number five, what are your fave spring patterns? Now, I used to be a girl that never used to wear patterns really, um, and I didn't like florals at all, but I actually will wear florals now. But it says like florals, pat like stripes, dots. I think for me, probably dots. I really like polka dots. Um, but the other thing is with patterns with me, I like things that are quite unusual. So I do have a lot of vest tops. And on one of them, it, the print is lots of red hearts all over, which I really love. I've also got another vest that has different coloured palm trees all over it. So that's the kind of pattern I like. Something that's a little bit different and a bit unusual. What I don't like is a top that has a pattern just on one, like the front, but then the back of it is plain. I like to see a pattern all over. Um, I only have one or two where the pattern is only on the front and that's just because I loved it so much I just had to have it anyway. Um, but yeah, I like lots of different unique sort of patterns. So something that's a little different. Um, one of my favourite spring and summer tops is a pale blue one with white polka dots on though. And I do have a lot of polka dot skirts and different t-shirts. So I have to say that things like that. Um, also, I really love the, um, the like, the Mickey Mouse one, which is just loads of Mickey Mouse faces all over it because that really is a pattern and it's lots of different expressions and I've got a couple of those with Mickey Mouse on and I really, really love those. So a pattern that's something a little bit different, I guess. Number six is your favourite spring nail colours and I've got a few to show you here. Um, I love neons in the summer, I think they're fantastic but it's always best to put a white coat underneath because then it makes the colour pop so much more. I'm going to show you these ones here but I actually really really love the um, neon ones that you keep in the fridge. Um, they were not too long ago I released from, um, I was going to say Urban Decay, it's from Model Zone, but you have to keep them in the fridge to keep them like really zingy. Now I wore the yellow one last week and it literally looks like the fluorescent jackets that you see on Workman. It is so bright and it's an amazing pop of colour and the purple is so amazing in that range as well. But I'm going to show you these ones because they're in the fridge over there. <laughs> but these are equally beautiful and these look amazing with white under them as well. So, glasses on. Um, I've got two from the Head Candy range. Okay, so I've got Beach Party. It's not coming up anywhere near as bright as it is in person. It's a really nice zingy tangerine orange colour. Then this is Head Candy, which is a very coral neon orange. And then this one is from the Standard Range, and this is Bubblegum. So I love those. I love the neon shades. <laughs> and then I really like a nice sort of Barbie pink. 
The best Barbie pink I think I've got is pink blush. Excuse my really bad nails, I should have painted them before this video. Um, pink blush is a really pretty pink, so I like pretty bright colours, but they're not super bright, but I also like neons. And then the other thing I like are pastels. Pastels are really beautiful for the spring and summer. Um, my favourite ones are, this one's Peaches and Cream, which is my favourite peach from Model Zone. So pretty. I've got Strawberry Tart from the Pastel Scented Collection. It smells amazing. Synthetic strawberries. You've got to love the smell of synthetic strawberries. And then I've got Blue Boo, which is from the Standard Ridge. I don't know if they still do Blue Boo. It's quite old. But it's a really pretty pastel blue. And then the other two colours that I'm going to show you are actually from Barry M. These are two of my favourites from the Jelly Range. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say there. But this one is green berry. It's a perfect, beautiful, bright green. And then this one is blue grape, which this is just stunning on the nails. I like a white under this as well. And this pop of colour is amazing. It's an incredibly crazy, bright cobalt blue. And apparently cobalt blue is going to be huge for the spring and summertime. So, um, yeah. So spring nail polishes, I guess, kind of change from year to year because different colours are definitely in trend. Um, But yeah, I don't tend to stick to colour trends. I just wear what I like. But this is just... A beautiful colour. Then the next question. When out and about in the spring and you see someone wearing makeup that catches your eye, do you compliment them or just simply or, or simply smile and walk by? So if I was walking along the street and saw somebody with lovely makeup, I'd smile at them and walk by. But if it's somebody I'm talking to in the store, or if I'm standing looking at makeup and somebody comes next to me and their makeup looks amazing, then I tell them. Or if it's somebody that's serving me in a shop, um, or somebody that I'm talking to in a shop, I'll always tell them, wow, I love your makeup, wow, I love that colour. So, yeah, I wouldn't just say it to somebody walking past me in the street, though, because, um, yeah, you're not really kind of sure what kind of reaction you get. Some people really might not appreciate it. So, yeah, I definitely don't do that in the street, but I definitely would do it in person, um, talking to somebody. Or, like I said, I've done it when I've been standing, talking to somebody to make up, and, you, you know, you browse and stuff, and then, I don't know if it's just me, but I always chat to the people around me while I'm like, oh, you know, wow, look at that colour, or I help people, like, when they're looking for things. So, yeah, I, I'm a people person, I'm terrible, I talk to everybody. <laughs> so, yeah, um, if, if it was somebody that I was standing with or talking to or being served by, I would tell them that I love their makeup. How long does your spring makeup take to do? Um, it doesn't change. I don't because it's spring and summer, I don't think that it takes me any different time. I still spend the same amount of time on the base. Um, I still spend the same amount of time on my lips. And I don't really take any different time over my eyes because I still like to have a couple of different colours on the eyes. So it's no different. I would generally say about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, 15 minutes, really. I don't think it takes me a long time to do makeup, really. So um, what I did, though, before I end this video, I did get together some lipsticks that I really like wearing in the spring and I thought I'd share them with you because I thought this is a great chance to be able to do that. So, yes, these are all MAC. <laughs> to be fair, I wear MAC 99% of the time. Um, I am loving all the chubby sticks and things, but MAC is definitely um, my favourite brand. So I wanted to share with you some of my favourite spring colours from MAC. The first colour I'm going to show you is actually Pink Pearl Pop. Now this was released originally as part of a collection but it's now actually part of the permanent line so if you liked it then you can definitely go and check that out. This is such a beautiful colour. I wear this a lot. It's a nice bright pink. It's got a lot of gloss to it as you can see. It's really really pretty. So I love that. So that is Pink Pearl Pop and that one is... A cream sheen. I love cream sheens. And they're really nice and moisturising on the lips as well. The next one is Candy Yum Yum. No, this is not Candy Yum Yum. <laughs> I so want it to be. This one is Silly. This is a perfect Barbie pink. This one's a matte. And it's just so, so beautiful. That's it there. It is like the colour of Barbie's car. It's just gorgeous. It's insane. I absolutely love it. I really hope they re-promote that one. The next one is what I'm wearing today, which is Lavender Whip. And it's just a really beautiful lilac, but it's actually, as you can see... Sorry. <laughs> so as you can see, it's a really lovely... 
like pinky lilac really it looks very lilac but then you put it on and it's more of a pink lilac so it's definitely got a lovely pink base to it it's a stunning color and I absolutely love it I do have a backup of this one because I got it and I put it on and I was like oh my goodness this is insane and it, it sold out actually sorry I have gotten she knows I'm not picking a snot <laughs> okay so I actually got this on the Mac site and it sold out very quickly. I was like, no, I really want another one of these because it's such an amazing colour. I put it on and basically I think I wore it for seven days straight, which is not me. It was just like, oh my goodness, I love this lipstick. I'm so in love. But um, then it came on the Debenham site, so I did order another one, which is quite naughty, but I wanted to back up of this because this, this should be part of the permanent line, in my opinion. It is so pretty. The next colour is Flat Out Fabulous. Now this is darker than the others but it's actually really really pretty and I still think it's really quite nice for the spring because it's bright because it's still nice and bright but it's a little bit more of a subdued bright so it's a bit more of a wearable spring that's not too in your face it's just really really pretty and that one is a retro matte it's gorgeous that one is still in stock, I think, on the Debenhams website. If you wanted to pick that one up, because I don't, it wasn't. It's not part of the permanent collection. It was just released as part of the Retro Matte collection. Sorry, I picked up Lavender Whip again, because I just love it so much. <laughs> the next one is Heroin. This is now part of the permanent line. Thank goodness, because I love this and I was wearing it quite a bit. And then I thought, oh, no, I need to stop wearing this because you can't get it anymore. I really need to wear it just every now and then. But now it's part of the permanent collection, so I can wear it loads. Um, heroin is stunning. It's a really nice bright purple colour. So, so beautiful. It's a very true purple. So I love that. The last one's Candy Yum Yum. So this is Candy Yum Yum. The neonness and the beautifulness does not justify itself on camera. It's so super bright neon. This is part of the permanent line as well. That's it there. It's so bright. Like I said, it just this does not do it justice at all in this line. Anyway, candy yum yum. Most perfect bright pink neon. It's gorgeous and stunning. If you really like your bright lipsticks. It's just perfect for spring and summer. It's so festival and so bright and so gorgeous. So those are definitely among my favourite spring summer lipsticks. I wear the same colours all year round though so I wouldn't say I'm one of these girls who's like right it's autumn I need to just wear berry colours and now it's spring and I need to wear nudes. Now it's summer I need to wear brights. I wear whatever I want when I want so I don't really think like that. I don't think oh wow right, I need to wear this colour now. So I wouldn't say that I particularly wear a particular colour just for spring, I just I feel I, I lean probably more towards those colours um, during spring, summer if that makes sense. So um, if you want to see the rest of my really nice bright lipsticks then definitely check out my recent favourite MAC lipstick collection. I'll actually link that video below for you so you can check it out because there's a lot more bright colours. These are my favourites in here. So you can see lots of other bright colours in here. So I hope you've enjoyed this tag. Please stay tuned and watch the quick get ready with me for this look that I've got on today. And yeah, this is definitely something that I'd wear for spring. It feels quite nice and light and pretty and lilac-y and pink and just nice. I like it and I love this lip colour. Really, really pretty. Actually, I should have probably featured the other lip colour, which was the one that I was going to wear. Another one I think that is really great for the summer spring summer is raspberry swirl it's a really bright pink but it's actually incredibly wearable and that is that one there you can see that it's a lot paler than these ones here and definitely darker than this one it's a really nice bright pop of pink it's really lovely let me see what finish it is it is a cream sheen so yeah raspberry swirl is a cream sheen and it's so incredibly beautiful. It's just a gorgeous pink. It's not too bright, but it's not too pastel. It's just a perfect um, balance. So I love Raspberry Swirl. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this tag. I've really enjoyed doing it and taking part. Huge thanks to Nikki and I'm going to link her video below because she actually created this tag and you can check out her answers below and sub to her if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, if you make videos then please do do this tag or if you just blog then please do blog this tag because I think it'd be interesting to see a transfer over to blogs. Um, doing tags as well as videos. You don't have to make a video to take part in this and if you want to take part you can also give me some of your answers below. I'd love to know your top five spring beauty must-have makeup items as well because maybe I need to check them out and maybe I need to add them to my collection and start using them too.
So don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and I already told you to do that so I'm just gonna love and leave you and see you all soon. Bye! And I can't wait to get the electric palette because I can't wait, wait to wreck, wreck this.